Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. This is Rogue Arts here. And um, today I'm gonna be doing something a bit differently. As you can see on the screen, I'm drawing my character, Red. And basically, I'm gonna be explaining stuff about him. I got this idea from Oliver's antics, so don't think this is an original idea. Go check them out if you wanna see some really, really good art. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be explaining stuff about the character, the story behind the comic, and maybe even do some more videos on the characters from this comic later, if you guys like this enough. So, it takes place in a world where 60% of the population has some sort of ability based on a force, a chemical reaction, or an element from the periodic table. Red is the main character. He has the ability to control fire, and therefore, he has a chemical reaction ability. A chemical reaction ability is a mix of different elements. So, Red, what's up with him? It seems that he's a normal kid, right? Wrong. When he was a baby, he was injected with something, and he was sick for many days. His brothers thought that he was going to die. But suddenly, one day, he was just fine. It turned out there was a virus inside of him, and that was what was injected into him. But it still was inside him, even though he was completely fine. Fast forward a few years later, Red is now 13. His parents are not in the picture, and his brothers are the ones who mostly take care of him. Red is kind of a rebel. He goes out and, you know, fights people who are, you know, picking on the weak, trying to steal things. So, Red thinks that he can do whatever he wants, really. He's kind of not the one to listen to his brother Silver, who is extremely strict and always wants him to stay home. Red obviously never listens to him, like I said. But there's something off about Silver, which I'll get into later when I do his thing in his video. But basically, the entire thing is, is that Red is being tracked by the government due to this virus that's inside of him. This virus is fueled by Red's emotions. If he gets too emotional, his eyes will turn red and the virus will fully take over. Think of Venom from Spider-Man, but kind of more hostile. So, that's basically the main premise. I don't know really what else I'm supposed to talk about because I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I will explain a few things about Red. He is 13 when the comic first starts. He is mixed race. He is half white, half African American. And basically he has no idea who his father is. And he doesn't really know much about his mother either, but he thinks that they were great people when uh, later on you figure out they're, that they're not. So that's pretty much all there is to know about Red, and yeah, but I do have a few more things I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, that's mostly what he's all about, but I think I do have a few questions I'm going to pull up just to, you know, answer them. B because I want to. <laughs> so uh, here we go. What is Red's biggest fear? Uh, I'd say his biggest fear is loss. He has a very big trouble with dealing with loss and dealing with people dying. It's mostly the reason that he goes out every night and tries to stop people from dying. Mostly from like, I, like p police brutality or stuff like that. He has a really 
big problem with people dying. So he takes that very seriously. Whether it's someone he knows or someone he doesn't know, he still takes it pretty, pretty badly. So that's his fear, fear of loss. What did he want to be when he grew up? Uh, this actually plays a lot into the story, but if you were to ask him this, uh, he would say normal. <laughs> um, because if you got anything from what I told you about him, you know, how the government is pretty much after him because of the virus that's inside of him, uh, you can definitely tell that his life is way far from normal. So he would, he would probably say normal. What does he do when he has free? Ugh, God, I cannot speak. What does he do when he has free time? Uh, he either hangs out with his friends Kiana and Dark, which I will explain those characters in separate videos of their own, um, or he stays in his room and listens to music and tries to go to sleep. <laughs> There's one thing about Red that is very uh, unique, is that yes, he works out a lot, mostly because his brother forces him to, but he's also extremely, extremely lazy. He's extremely lazy, at least in the first half of the story, he is. What is his moral compass like? Oh god. <laughs> um, so... Red has a very interesting morality, I'd say. Um, he's... So, the way he views things... So, Red has never really seen someone die specifically. Um, which is probably why it scares him so much. He doesn't want to know what that's like. Um... Huh, this is an interesting question. Um, so, Red... Th this is how he views things, okay? So, he will save pretty much anyone. Like, he will save anyone. Like, he's that... He's a really good person. But... He does believe in revenge. He does absolutely re believe in revenge. And by that, I mean, like, if you hurt someone that's close to him, he's gonna find a way to get you back. <laughs> so, and that comes in important later on in the story, but he's, he's a very, he's a child. He, he's not really got a full moral compass yet. So it's, it's, it's weird to think about. It's. It's an it's a it's a strange question and an interesting question. Is he a clean or messy person? Oh, he is a extremely messy person. He is extremely messy. Um, he does not like keeping his room tidy because he thinks it's a waste of time. Um, but yeah. Okay, that's uh, all the questions I have. So. And I, I pulled those all off of Google because I, I don't have anyone to ask me <laughs> about him. But uh, yeah, that's that's Red. I hope you guys find this video enjoyable. I know I'm not really good at doing character bios. I, this is kind of all put together pretty fast. Um, but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. And if you guys like this and want to see another character, bi character bio about the characters from my comic, just let me know. All right. Thanks for dealing with my shenanigans, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.